Welcome back into Hitting Hard with John Chuckery on Locked On Sports Atlanta. Head over to YouTube.com. Put Locked On Sports Atlanta into your search browser. Find our page. Subscribe to our channel there. Always leave us a comment. And, of course, we are free and available on all of your favorite podcast platforms, which includes Spotify, Odyssey. Go there. Leave us a five-star review. Tell us what you think about this show. And, of course, follow me on my personal Twitter page at JMCH316. You know, we talked last week about Dansby Swanson and the contract extension. Obviously, Dansby going into his walk year. And I've said, you know, Look, every hit, every RBI, every run driven in, every steal, everything. You know, Dansby's putting more and more money into his pocket. And Dansby won his arbitration case for $10 million this year. I expect him to be a $15, $16 million type of pitcher, or sorry, shortstop um, come next season. So my gut tells me that Dansby won't be here, that they won't give him a a long-term extension, that with some of the other guys that are going to be coming up over the next couple few years Braves are going to have some real decisions they have to make and as Ronnie and Ozzy's money finally starts to catch up a little bit those guys won't be one million dollar players anymore you start to have to budget around those guys one guy who's going to be very very interesting who is heading closer and closer to needing an extension is Max Freed now Freed got his six and a half million dollars in arbitration this year and he's got two more years of arbitration. So his third year of arbitration will come up next year. His final year of arbitration will come up in 2024 when he's 30 years old. So it's an interesting thought about when and if do you extend Max Free? Because for an organization that has bragged and built itself around pitching, and all the prospects and all that, that we were so afraid to move and trade. Oh my gosh, if we trade pitching prospects, what are we going to have down there? But Max Freed is one of the guys that you hit on. And if you think about the long term with the Braves, we have no idea. I, it's pie in the sky to think about whether or not Mike Soroka is going to come back and is ever going to be the pitcher that he once was. I mean, for anybody to even come thought process about speculating about what he will or what he will not be is ridiculous. You have no clue, no idea. We haven't even seen him in a couple of years. And obviously, you know, when he was at his best a few years ago, he was tremendous, but can he ever get back to that? So that's a big question. Obviously, Charlie Morton is a guy that doesn't have a long shelf life, right? You know, they signed him to a two year deal and you see he's having his struggles this year. Maybe last, maybe next year is his last year and they, you know, he retires. I mean, literally, he could be out of baseball by the end of next year. And you've got Kyle Wright and you've got Ian Anderson. Those guys are still young, but you got to have that ace, right? In today's baseball world, you want that guy that every fifth day you can hand the ball to and say, go get me a quality start. Freed is that guy. And I'm not saying Kyle Wright hasn't been that this year, but when we're talking about long-term and some body of work, Freed has been consistent these last few years, and he has shown that he is your number one guy. He's your guy at the number one spot. So how long do you wait to decide to extend Max Freed or give him a contract? And what kind of money are we talking about with a Max Freed deal? Now, is Max Freed going to get, you know, Max Scherzer kind of money or Jacob deGrom kind of money? No, I don't think that that's going to be anything that Max Freed is going to get. But if you look at some of the guys around baseball, you know, like one guy that that kind of sticks out, Jose Barrios for the Toronto Blue Jays. He just signed a free agent deal last year, signed a a contract last year. Seven years, $131 million. That comes out to just over $18 million per year, right? Zach Wheeler, five years. uh, He signed this a couple years ago. Five years for $118 million. That's $23 million per year. Um, you know, I was looking, uh, David Price got seven for 217, but that was a whole bunch of years ago. He's not going to be in that kind of range. Um, Lance McCullers, five for 85, who signed that deal in 2021. Max Fried's going to be a 15 to $18 million kind of pitcher out there. And that's why I'm also starting to think that a guy like Dansby may not be around that they look at and say, okay, we've got Freed coming up pretty quick here. Austin Riley's still a few years away. Some of our other money's catching up. 
I think Max Freed probably at the end of next year before they get to his final year of arbitration. Because the other part of this is too, is that by the time Max Freed is ready to be an unrestricted free agent, he's going to be 30 years old, 31 years old, excuse me. He'll be 31 years old. So he's not going to be a young guy in his prime. So do you reward Max Freed now, or do you kind of just go on the cheap for the next couple of years? Because he'll, if he continues at this pace, that's six and a half million will almost double. I mean, he'll be in the 10 plus million dollar range if he has another, whatever, 15, 16 win season, sub three RA, 160 strikeout season, all-star appearance. You know, obviously we can't unfortunately have him win the silver slugger anymore, but if he has another one of those kinds of years like that, he'll probably push toward $10 million or more come, you know, arbitration time. So I hope the Braves don't kind of drag this out because They've been searching for that guy to anchor their pitching staff for how many years now? I mean, you know, we kind of talked about, could they find their big three with Anderson, Wright, Freed? Could that be not saying that they're going to all win 300 games and all this, that, and the other, but, but some stability at the very top of their rotation. And you would hate to let Max Freed walk, but I understand not way overpaying him, but you know, he's not going to be the Scherzer de Grom 40 million, Garrett Cole 40 million type of number and things like that. But five for 85 is probably a realistic number for him. I mean, would you rather have Lance McCullers or Max Freed? Would you rather have Jose Barrios or would you rather have Max Freed? I'd rather have Max Freed right now. Left handed starting pitching that doesn't walk anybody, doesn't give up a lot of home runs, low ERA, and strikes out plenty of guys too. Pff, sign me up, Chief. Give me all that. So I think we're still a year away before we see any kind of number. I hope the Braves don't try to wait this thing out like they've done with Dansby, like they did with Freddie. And I understand the business aspect of it. And I understand Liberty Media as well. Like there's only there's only so much pile of dough to go around because, you know, Liberty Media is barely scratching two nickels together. I mean, their CEO is only worth two hundred fifty million dollars. Right. And that's coming off the CEO that was only worth four billion dollars. And I know they only made six hundred million dollars of the battery. So I mean, I, again, I we have to we have to pat Liberty Media on the back and say, poor babies. We 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 know now. Again, um, hopefully they're done fleecing the Cobb County tax, taxpayers out of all of this. But that was another story that we did about the truest building and and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, so that uh, aside, back to Max Fried here. Whew. You've been looking for that ace in your rotation. Is it time to reward him? I'd like to see the Braves get this thing done sooner rather than later. You know, avoid the arbitration, avoid any hurt feelings, you know, uh, avoid all of that and avoid a guy who is your ace of your staff. And he is. I mean, say what you will, but he's the ace of their staff. He'll be next year's opening day pitcher, barring a catastrophic injury. He'll start on opening day next year. He'll be probably the team leader in wins or right there with Kyle Wright to lead the team in wins. And he'll be up there in strikeouts and he'll be right there in ERA. And he's going to be one of, you know, looked at as one of the better pitchers in baseball. I think he's going to get an all-star appearance this year as well that he's rightly earned. Why not reward him? Not saying you got to overpay for Max Fried, but you put guys like that in, in baseball world, you put guys like Max Fried on the open market. What are teams willing to pay? You know, think about the Trevor Bowers and some of these guys that are, you know, flea bags and things like that, that they're great pitchers, but they've got all the baggage and everything that comes along with them. Think about what some of these guys were getting over the last couple of years that are, again, Lance McCullers, five for 85. He's a good pitcher. I like Lance McCullers, but I'd much rather have Max Freed. I'd much rather have Max Freed over Jose Barrios. Well, those guys are 15, you know, 15, 18, 17 million dollar starting pitchers. And so that's a, you know, a decent chunk of money. But in baseball terms, would I rather have Max Freed for 18 to 20 million dollars or would I rather have an aging Matt Scherzer for 44 million dollars? Well, you know, again, we're both in win now mode for the Mets and, and for the Braves. But I like what Max Freed brings this team. I hope that they get this thing done sooner than later and don't just keep playing out the arbitration process. But I still feel like we're probably a year away before we get to that point. All right, when we come back, how good does Arthur Smith have to be at his play calling this year if the Falcons are going to have any chance to get this offense on track? Chuckery hanging out with you here. It's hitting hard on Locked On Sports Atlanta.